Spending cuts, even job cuts, departments in Broome County government are getting ready for a very tough year. Fox 40 Sarah Blazonis looks at how one department could be affected under the county executive's proposed budget. Bus riders may soon have to hand over an extra 25 cents to board Broome County buses. Next year's proposed budget raises fares to $1.50. Funding's become an issue now because we're losing a lot of state funding. Um, so the service for the extended night service and the weekend service was in jeopardy. County Executive Barbara Fiala said in last night's budget address that fares are being raised to make up for the loss of a $250,000 grant. The funds made it possible for buses to run on Sundays and for extra hours at night. We really didn't want to have to cut back these hours. That would have been devastating for the riders who rely on that service. As for the 24 positions the county executive said would need to be cut to balance the budget, BC Transit says it's too early to say exactly how it will be affected. Uh, obviously when it comes to service, uh, if we were to lose positions, we would have to fill the, the, the driving positions. Obviously that's the last thing we want to do is, is again cut service, which we do not plan on doing. Part of the $353 million spending plan includes a 3.79% property tax increase. The county In executive said last night planned job cuts played a role in keeping that number low, but it will be tough to walk the line between cutting staff and not services. We are looking top to bottom at the way the county delivers services. We have no choice. Our current operating procedure and existing forms of government at all levels are simply not sustainable. If the proposed budget is passed, the new BC transit rates will go into effect January 1st. In Vestal, Sarah Blazonis, Fox 40 News.